This strategy covers the throws that happen most frequently, the 6, the 7, and the 8. We'll cover the 7 where they don't pass and place the 6 and 8. In this run, we'll wager $30 on each of those and we'll keep our bets working even on the come out roll. This strategy was submitted on DiceData.info by Tony. If you want me to simulate a strategy, there's a submission form on the site and I'd love to hear your ideas. I'll run 100,000 sessions of 10 shooters per session. The table minimum here is $25 and we'll be flat betting on $30 without doing any pressing strategy. Now let's take a look at the dice and the game flow. We threw the dice 8.5 million times and here in gray is the distribution that is expected from the, from the dice. And in blue, we have the actual numbers. You can see they line up very closely with the expected distribution of dice throws. Now for each shooter, how long did they actually hang on to the dice? Here's the distribution of that. The median is six, so 50% of the shooters roll the dice more than six times and half of them roll fewer than six times. The average is 8.53. The middle 50% range between four and 11 rows of the dice and the middle 90% are between 2 and 22. The full range that we saw in this simulation is the minimum is 2, that's where you set a point and then get a 0.7 out, and the maximum in this simulation was 94 rows of the dice for a single shooter. Now let's see the distribution of rolls of the dice over a session of 10 shooters. The median is 83, while the average is 85.3. The middle 50% range between 70 and 98 rolls of the dice, and the middle 90% range between 54 and 124 rolls of the dice. The min and max are 29 to 221, very long rolls for those sessions. Now let's look at the house take and the house edge. The total bet overall was $232 million with $119 million won and $122 million lost. The difference between those two is a house take of 3.3 million, which is an overall house edge of 1.454%. Here you can see that percentage as compared to some of the other common bets on the craps table. Now let's see how much was won and lost by the shooter. First we're going to look at how many players actually won or lost by each shooter. 55% won money, while 43.5% lost money. There were a small number of pushes that neither won or lost any money during that shooter. Well, let's see how much they won or lost. The median was a win of $5, while the average was a loss of $3.38. The middle 50% ranged between a loss of $30 and a win of $40, and the middle 90%
ranged from a loss of $150 to a win of $145. The most lost by a player during a single shooter was $965, and the most won was $915. Now let's look at the same data, but look at it for an entire session of 10 shooters. Here you can see that just over 45% of the sessions ended winning money, while 53.8% lost money. And under 1% uh, actually pushed where they neither won or lost any money. Okay, in this case, the median was a loss of $30, while the average was a loss of $33.77. The middle 50% range between a loss of $215 to a win of $155, and the middle 90% range between a loss of $510 to a win of $425. The most loss during a session was $1,650, and the most won was $1,210. Now let's look at the bankroll survival rates. This is a chart of the bankroll at its lowest during the session. 99% of the players never had a bankroll that went lower than $865. I think in a future video, we should add in a pressing strategy to this and uh, see how that does. So if you have one, definitely head over to dicedata.info and submit that strategy, and I'll get to it in a future video. Thanks so much for watching and good luck at the tables.